Hey guys, welcome to our 100 subscribers special, and today we will be reviewing this W.O. Toys K989, which is the one right here. Uh, it's based on Ken Block's Ford Fiesta, I'm pretty sure, or Ford Focus. That actually looks like a Fiesta to me. But uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to us, if you are. Uh, helping us reach 100 subscribers and I'm just super thankful hopefully we reach 200 pretty soon so today we're just gonna be reviewing this the W.O. Toys K989 and I think it's gonna be pretty cool so let's get to it so we decided to move inside real quick because um, it was getting a little bit hot outside but we have everything out of its package and I'm pretty happy with how small this model is because when I first got it I was expecting it to be at least like a little bit bigger maybe 124 scale size um, but yeah it's super small which I like because I'm going to mostly be doing indoor drifting with every once in a while going outside to drive it around. I'm just going to show you guys all the stuff that it comes with like the instructions which says 128 scale electric four wheel drive rally car using this for like drifting more than rallying um, but in here it shows like all of the different like instructions and also what everything is in this like the battery type but uh, speaking of the battery you have this little lipo battery right here um, and this is actually pretty surprising that they didn't give it a nymph battery which if you guys don't know is basically just a worse kind of battery but since this thing is 128 scale, I'm going to show you guys um, it compared to a 124 scale Ferrari La Ferrari by Barago, which we actually have a review on up on our channel, so make sure to check that out. But also it comes with the controller, which is probably my main complaint for this uh, entire RC car, because it's very cheap and plasticky and just toyish looking, which I don't really like. Um, but you have like all the stickers, like this uh, weird flame sticker with speed. Also you have like the uh, red handle, bright red handle, which I just really don't like. It kind of makes it feel a lot cheaper. But you can see it has this three spoke silver rim for the steering wheel. And you have the power button, all of the, the other weird stickers on here. But also you have the steering trim and throttle trim, which are these buttons right here. Also we have the charger, which just plugs into an outlet, um, but also you have the actual charger part and there's a light that lights up in there once you plug in the battery. And now for the actual car, it also comes with other gears uh, for higher speed, more torque, stuff like that. But we can look at the body real quick, which you can see is heavily inspired by Ken Block's um, Ford Fiesta for focus uh, they kind of look a little bit similar and then also for the Ford logo they decided to make it so it said Sonic probably for copyright issues so they don't get copyrighted by any of these brands that's probably why pretty cool looking body and then if we take off these four clips holding the body on oh yeah, and I forgot to mention there's this cool spoiler back here that's um, separated from the body it's held in by a little, by little um, things right here so now we move to the actual RC part of the car, where on the RC part you can see they have these uh, six spoke rims right here that are white, which look pretty cool. Also you have this foam kind of front bumper, but you have the independent suspension, they're not um, oil filled, but it's still cool that they have this suspension right here. Also on here you can see they have these rally tires, you have the retaining clips, which uh, basically, if you want to fit a different body onto this RC car, you can by moving them down or up. We have the servo and like the motor and stuff, everything like that. You guys can just see all the stuff real quick. But then you also have this, um, the chassis, which is kind of like a copper tinted probably not copper but it does definitely look like it is and it's cool that it has a metal chassis and not uh, some plastic one but also the motor sticking out of the bottom 
And yeah, so that's it for the RC car, just looking around and stuff. Now we're gonna actually charge the battery, which should take about an hour, 30 minutes. And then I'll see you guys once everything's charged up and ready to go. So we are outside, and I just wanna show you guys the proportional throttle and steering real quick. So we're gonna start off the steering, which you can see, you can turn a little, and you can turn a lot. So that's cool that it has that. And also same with the gas, you can make it so it goes a little and a lot. So yeah, I just wanna show you guys that real quick. So let's get to our first test, which is top speed. So this thing should have a top speed of about 18 miles per hour. I don't have a GPS I can put on it, so I'm not gonna be able to tell for sure but I'm sure it will go at least kind of close to that, so. This thing actually looks pretty small from far away because it actually is very small. And you can see right there, it's pretty fast. It definitely looks a lot slower on camera, but I can assure you it actually is very quick. Um, I don't know why they advertise it as a rally car, but it is uh, very low down, which I guess is good for drifting and stuff like that. So we're going to start it off in a different area now and see if we can make it. It almost just seems like uh, it's definitely not uh, high enough. So we're testing it out a little bit, and it seems like if you get a start on a flat area, it will do a little bit better, so let's look at that real quick. So yeah, it definitely made it a lot farther this time. It seemed like it was about uh, four feet, maybe a little bit uh, more. So yeah, it can rally, it's just that it's not very good at it most of the time. So we have this little hand sanitizer handle on course right here. And note that I'm not very good at driving it. Okay, so that was a pretty slow test. I'm gonna try to speed it up now. And I knocked over one of the bottles. But it's pretty good at handling, honestly. Uh, for being this small and being this cheap, it's a little bit of uh, tire warming, I guess. So now we're gonna do the drift test. I wonder how uh, grippy the tires are gonna be. It's gonna be able to slide out. The cool thing is, uh, when you let go of the gas, so I'm just gonna the gas, let go, it stops it immediately, so it kind of locks up, uh, kind of like a handbrake, so that should help it slide out a little bit better. So first corner is coming up, let's see how it does. And it seems that it actually is quite uh, slidey, which is nice because it was way too grippy then it would be way too hard to drift. testing this thing out. Um, I had a lot of fun doing the top speed, drifting, everything like that. It's just a super fun little car. And it's pretty cheap as well, around $50. But if you guys wanna see more videos of it, we're probably gonna be posting some uh, like little short videos on YouTube Shorts and Instagram, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I also want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm so happy that we hit 100 subscribers just so much and I'm so grateful for it. Expect more awesome reviews, RC content, real life content uh, coming up in the future. Uh, WL Toys K989. I definitely think it's worth the price. And if you're looking for a beginner drift car, this is the perfect car. 
So thank you guys for watching today's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.